YouTube, it's Fats here from Fighting, and today we're going to be learning how to set up uh, a booter. Um, so let's jump into it. First thing you're going to need is um, the booter source code. The booter we'll be using is Kyle FYI version 3. Um, I will provide a link to the download of that in the description and also a link to uh, a whole set of 25 different booter sources. So um, for this tutorial we'll be using the Kyle FYI booter. So uh, first thing you're going to need is of course the source like I said and then you're going to need a web host uh, this web host is x10 hosting um, x10 hosting.com is where you can sign up it's free and um, I recommend using them so um, once you get um, signed up for that you're just going to go into the x10 hosting control panel and um, I like to use cpanel um, version 3 so just hit right up here switch to cpanel x3 uh, I think it just hit switch to cPanel x3 and give that a second oh crap okay wait alright there we go now what you're gonna do is um you're going to go into file manager right here and you're going to choose um, public html slash www hit go and you're going to want to upload the booter you want to make sure the booter is zipped up in a dot zip format so we're going to go to booter 25 booter sources and the one I was using was right here this one and you're going to wait for that to upload and I'll probably take a second ok so once that's done um, you're going to close this tab and then you're going to refresh, you're going to hit this reload button and then you're going to hit extract here or extract just give that a second hit close um, you can go ahead and delete the dot zip like that hit, just hit the delete key on your keyboard Okay, now the first thing you're going to want to do is go in um, this right here, the db.sql. You're going to want to import that into um, a database. So you're going to go back to your cPanel and you're going to go scroll down and you're going to hit my SQL databases. So first thing you can do is create a user. Um, we're going to call this one booter. When we're going to put the password is. And like that and that okay cool and um, hit create user hit go back now you're going to create the database we're going to call this booter as well hit go back okay so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to grant the user permission to use that database so just go here and select um, fight or select the database and the user and hit add and you're going to want to choose all privileges and hit go back okay so now once that's done you're going to want to go inside the database and import the SQL file so um, the way you're going to do this is you're going to go back to your cPanel, scroll down, and hit uh, PHP My Admin. You're going to wait for that to load. Now once you're in this, you're going to select the database that you just made, which is for me fighting um, tut underscore booter, and then you're going to hit up here import. and then you're going to select the file. Um, the file will be inside the folder that is in the um, description so it's going to be this one right here db.sql 
Now you're going to click go. Now this will take just a second and um, it should have imported all the tables. Yep, here they are. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the file manager again and you're going to want to go into include this folder right here and you're going to want to go to the config folder and hit code editor and you're going to click edit okay so um, what we're going to do here is just set up the booter to go back to the database we just created um, so the DB host is going to be localhost and the user is going to be whatever your username is and then underscore booter password is going to be whatever you set it to I think I set it to frighten booter oh no my bad I set it to frighten tut and then the database is going to be frighten tut booter or whatever you set it to and then you're going to click oh wait for booter name you're going to enter your booter name I want to enter this frighten tutorial booter Booter or URL is going to be uh, fighting tut dot x mx. Hit save changes, and then you're going to close this tab, and everything should be set up. Um, to go to your website, just go to fighting tut dot x10.mx oh okay my bad it's fighting tutorial x10.mx okay fighting tutorials tutorials x10.mx there we go now what you're gonna do is you're gonna um you're gonna need to register and when you're registering there's a um there's actually a trick behind it. You have to set up the keys. So um the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go back into PHP my admin and we're gonna use the key table. So you're gonna choose fight you're gonna choose the um booter database and then you're gonna hit keys. Table keys. And you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna find the keys that's type admin and you're going to copy the key control C and then when you register on the register you're going to do slash register.php register you're going to put you're going to fight and tut and password fight and tut and then like that and you're going to paste the key as in personal license key now you're going to go to login.php and you're going to log in with that info. And there you go. There's the uh, the booter homepage. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, just to make it look better, is go back into your PHP My Admin, go to News, check all the news, and then delete those. Another thing that's uh, necessary is you're going to go into users, you're going to do check all, and you're going to delete all these except the one you just made, which for me is fight and tut. So you're going to uncheck that one and then hit delete. And also you're going to do the same for keys. You're going to select all these and uh, delete these okay now um, you're gonna want to add news fight tutorial just like that and you're gonna add that as news so um now another thing is adding users to add a user you're gonna go into add users you can set the max boot time something like 150 expiry that means forever 
and then type user reseller admin. Reseller is going to be able to add new users, but they're not going to be able to add shells, they're not going to be able to blacklist people, they're not going to be able to change news. Um, and admin is going to be able to do everything you can do as far as the site goes, but they will not be able to access PHP my admin or uh, the cPanel or anything. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just set this to user, and you're going to click add key. And it'll show you the key right here. So if you want somebody to be able to use the booter, you just give them this key. And when they go to register, they just paste that key in as their personal key. So um, lastly is adding shells. So I mean, if you want to add shells, you um, just enter the shells in here. Um, shells are not free in a sense. Um, private shells are not free, but private shells are going to work better. Public shells are free, and you can find them on Pastebin. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube and on the internet of how to uh, find shells. Basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to add the shell in here. So uh, we'll just make up a shell. We'll just call this shell HTTP slash um, fighting.com slash shell.php, and uh, and then you would just add that and it'll add the shell and if you go to your dashboard it'll say two shells instead of one shell so um, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.